Welcome again to another episode of Think Local Lloyd Minster. My name is Stephanie Dobson, and I'm here today with Calla Gerling and Tasha Beauchain, who are the owners and operators of Olive and Birch here in Lloyd Minster. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Hi, Stephanie. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Can, let's start off by telling us a little bit about the type of products that your shop offers. Well, we have quite a variety of products at Olive and Birch. Um, we describe ourselves as a home decor gift and jewelry store mainly um that being said we also have you know a large kitchen section we have rugs um lots of yeah lots of little gadgets um we also carry hunter douglas blinds that we're very proud to be an exclusive dealer in lloyd minster of yeah and that that is a fairly large portion of our business actually is the hunter douglas blinds so if you're looking for window shadings <laughs> come to us so I would, I would assume then that that's um, some personalized or customized services. Tell us a little bit more about that. Right. So yeah, uh, um, yes, uh, we do get the odd customer come in that thinks we stock the blinds. We we don't. <laughs> they are a custom made blind to your measurements. So we do free consultations. So we come to your house, do the measurements, bring our books. It's always nice for um, people to come into our showroom actually first because we do have a little bit of a blind showroom set up in the back of our store. Mm -hmm. So it gives them, they can have a look and see what different uh, types of blinds we have. And that's a really good start. And then once they kind of narrow it down to, to what they like, we can come to your house and help you choose and match colors and to your paint and, and furnishings and whatnot. So. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really nice. I know I've had that consultation and it's really nice for you to bring those really big, heavy books with you. And then, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, our workout. yeah. And then uh, it's nice. You can, you can kind of leave them there with the customer and they can sort of start to mull over what it might look like in their, um, in their house, you know, even, you right. know, how, how thick are the blinds, right? How much of a blackout are the blinds and against your paint color and against your lighting. So it's, it's really nice to have that, um, that customized um, service. Mm -hmm. yeah. So tell us a little bit more about um, your shop. How long has it been in operation and what sets you apart from other competitors? Yeah, so we've been in operation since 2014. And then we actually rebranded in 2016 mm -hmm. as Olive and Birch. We had uh, purchased it as Decorators Den, which probably a lot of people know because mm -hmm. it had been here for over 30 years. Um, so we've just kind of continued on and built on what Bonnie and Dell had already started, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, I think we definitely offer a more customized shopping experience um, than a box store. Than box experience. stores for sure. Yeah, um, we you know we can do special <laughs> orders for people and just really take time to um, help the the person with their. Um, decorations for their home like often they'll bring in pictures and we can help them with mantle displays or um, they'll bring in a, arrangements or they'll bring in a pillow to match a throw or a vase. Yeah. and we're yeah. happy for them to do that we we encourage it we don't discourage we know you maybe didn't buy that item from our store but yes please bring it in it helps us find that find mm -hmm. something to match for you it's very difficult when you don't you can't see anything, mm -hmm. no pictures to help them leave the store with something that's going to look great in their home. So it sounds like a very personalized um, buying experience for customers in your shop with um, the owner as an owner operator <laughs> and um, and the staff in your store really uh, sounds like they're um, very helpful to, um, you know, with with interior decorating. It's sometimes it's hard if you're not in the physical um, space and so in the customer's home. But if they can bring a little bit of their home to you, it sounds like um, it can really help to um, pull it all together. Yeah, for sure. sure. Yes. Great. And uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, special promotions. Uh, everyone loves a sale. Everyone loves promotions. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you've got going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing we have going on right now on the radio is um, a promotion of spend $50 in uh, spend $50 in store and receive a Brewmate product. Um, if you're familiar with familiar with Brewmate, um, all their vessels, drinking vessels are well over, well, $50 mm -hmm. and plus. So you're basically mm -hmm. buy $50 worth of product in our store and you're getting a $50 plus value. So that's what we have going on right now. So you have to hear the radio add on 
on the radio on uh, Lloydminster and come in and mention that ad. Yes. And I, for those who don't know what Brewmate is, they are insulated um, drinking vessels. So yeah, they, are, they keep your drinks hot or cold. So they're, they're great for any time of year. And then Hunter Douglas, we always have promotions running with our Hunter Douglas blinds as well. So they, they vary from um, season to season or quarter to quarter. So um, just make sure you come in and ask because they do they do change up. So and they can mm -hmm. be very specific. Um, yeah. So, yeah, just ask us and we can let you know what they are. Yeah. And, and of course, those promotional products are always uh, ever changing, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. given there's so many products, uh, different uh, products available in your store. Let's talk a little bit about some of those um, unique or locally sourced products. I know you've got those. Yeah, we're happy to carry products from some local entrepreneurs. Uh, we have Prairie Lily Coffee and Trestle Coffee. Um, we also carry um, Jory Craft. Um, Brian Jory makes um, like pokers for your fire and wiener sticks, and he goes mm -hmm. out and forages his own wood. And um, yeah, they're very popular. They are gorgeous. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, also have. Um, beautiful blankets by blankets for kids and big blankets for kids absolutely the softest um mink style they're gorgeous they're i have some of those <laughs> and they are the best things to snuggle up with at the lake on a cold winter day and oh yeah i know exactly what you mean <laughs> and with the season with winter coming they're a, a great gift the well. cowhide ones especially are very very popular yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it sounds like um, part of your contribution to the community is is sourcing those local products, but can you tell us a little bit more about how your shop contributes to the local community? Yeah, we certainly can. So a lot of, there's a lot of events and fundraisers um, mm -hmm. in the community. You may not actually see Tash and I at all those events. Um, we can't possibly be at them all, but we, we do do a lot of donations for fundraisers, whether it's a silent auction or door prize. You will see Olive and Birch um, supporting a lot of those community events, and we're happy to do so. Um, yeah, we've supported like 100, 100 women events in the past. And yeah, we do like to, it's important for us to have that presence. But as I said, we can't always physically be at them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, and, and that's how you sort of divide and conquer, right? That's um, right. Sometimes you need that uh, for sure. So talking about um, customers and the, that uh, loyal uh, base, um, how do you ensure that customer satisfaction? Hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah. Good sounds question. like the sounds like part of it is that um, the buying experience that uh, that people get in your shop would be part of it. Yeah. Yeah, I think like we we do also offer some different um, procedures, I guess, in the store. Like we, uh, if people are interested, for example, in a big mirror or a big uh, piece of furniture or big piece of artwork, we do allow um, them to take those pieces on approval for three days so that they can physically take it home and put it in their house to see if it kind of goes with their mm. furnishings. Because a lot of people aren't visual they can't they can't um see it in the store without taking it at home and kind of holding mm -hmm. it up to oh, their wall sure. so people really like they really like that that option to to take it home and uh so and we like it i i really feel like that that makes the customer oh, I very think happy some people are, who don't know yeah. of it are yeah. surprised when we say do you want to take that home yeah they have up to three days like really like yeah go ahead you know we yeah we, we have really customer yeah, yeah great, great customer customers base, so. and so that's something we're willing to do i think another for customer satisfaction some of the lines that we carry in store have really good um warranty or mm -hmm. provide good customer service i guess for us that we're enabled to provide that mm -hmm. and one of them is hilberg and burke um hankel knives i mean those companies stand behind their product i guess and so we're we're proud to carry those in store and you know if you have an issue with one of those come back and see us mm -hmm. and um mm -hmm. we've had a lot of satisfied customers mm -hmm. leave our store because we've been able to potentially get them a new knife um and they're not cheap knives you've invested in them and they are willing to um you know provide that you haven't um done something to yeah. the knife that, you know yeah they stand behind their product so we like to carry products where we do 
like the companies who stand behind have them as good well. warranty. Yeah, yeah. we so, um, we also with our blinds, we we like to you know give a little gift um, if anyone purchases blinds from us. So we do that and we follow up with that. Yeah. Um, and we like to do random little giveaways. So we <laughs> often will do throw something in a bag or um, so I think that all contributes to customer satisfaction too. Yeah. Well, and I can imagine that part of the fun of your job is going out and finding all of these products and continuing to ensure a fresh inventory and the, looking for the latest trends and finding those entrepreneurs, those local entrepreneurs. Tell us a little bit about how you stay updated with all of that. Mm -hmm. So we, there are a couple gift shows a year. Well, there's more than a couple. I mean, there's, there's, <laughs> there's <laughs> one that, yeah, lots of lots of gift shows in lots of different cities. Um, so we've been to Atlanta and Vegas and Toronto gift shows before. And uh, yeah, imagine shopping all day <laughs> for three days, <laughs> deciding how, how many of this and how many of that to bring in. It can be very exhausting. It's yeah. very fun. I was going to um, say, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I bet it would be fun too. <laughs> it's not like your regular shopping trip. It is no. a little bit different, but it's really fun to see what's new and to touch and feel and, and uh, go experience that. And, yeah. and, <clears throat> and we typically go with what we like. We yeah. typically do. We sometimes step, step out, out of the box. Yeah. <laughs> well, it sounds and, like it's worked for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then of course, social media, you know, that's, you follow other stores that inspire you, um, companies. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we, and we, we like also, to follow lots of other yeah. retailers. And, and as, yeah. that's what I was gonna say, like we've met along the way um, mm -hmm. at gift shows, we've met other owners of stores um, mm -hmm. across the country and we've kept in touch with them. And sometimes we reach out and say, hey, what are your best sellers right now? Like, that's actually our favorite part to the gift shows is meeting, meeting. up with other like-minded uh, business owners and just yeah. sharing stories and sharing product stories. Yeah. And that is really fun. And it's a really good learning yeah, opportunity absolutely. too. Well, speaking yeah. of social media, why don't we uh, talk a little bit about how you engage with your own customers on social media or other platforms. Uh, You're mentioning radio a moment ago. Mm -hmm. That's right. We're on the radio weekly. Um, that's our biggest one that we do outside of social media is radio, um, the odd print certain times of the year but we do have a social media um mm -hmm. girl who comes in every week and we do our wednesday wants if people haven't uh seen our wednesday wants you got to check us out on wednesdays we always talk about some of the new items in our store our favorites um it's a fun little 10 minute spiel of <clears throat> excuse me what's new in the store and great way for people to sit down and they can only take 10 minutes instead of scrolling if they only have that much time instead of scrolling through all of our media they've missed a post or missed stories before they can just check it out and we yeah. do know it works because we have had customers come in and buy those items or mention oh i loved your wednesday once and that's what they're looking for that <laughs> week so it's fun yeah. and then we also do tag and share and giveaways on social media as well so oh, we're fun. active and we encourage <laughs> we encourage people to send us messages on social media too especially if you there is something you want us to see you know you want to see us bring into the store um we we like to get those messages i mean sometimes we can't obviously bring that product in but um yeah we, mm, we're, we open, like to, we're open to yeah, it absolutely we like to hear yeah. customers part of what's nice about it being a small uh, owner operator shop is that sometimes those kind of things are possible and that's great yeah. and then as customers we can support our local businesses right <clears throat> Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. And uh, we look forward to uh, having uh, myself and other customers join your shop um, uh, very soon. Thank Thanks you. for having us, Stephanie. We, yeah. Before you leave, Stephanie, though, I just want to mention too that Ooh. we do have a website as well. Okay. So you can check us out uh, at www.oliveandburge.com. A lot of people do use our website for pre-shopping as well. It's a Perfect. really good place to start, especially if you don't have a lot of time on your hands. Mm -hmm. Check out our website in an evening when you have more time good and idea. then you know, and then it kind of prepares you for what what you need to to look at when you come in. So yeah. Perfect. Yeah, because there sounds like there is a lot of inventory, so that would be a good yeah. uh, pre-shopping. <laughs> especially right okay. now with Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Christmas is coming up. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much to both of you. 
Thank you. Bye. Bye.